Okay, I thought I'd share my experience of calibrating my M6D Toolkit RC M6D charger. I've been using it for a while now and like it, but I had some reservations about the uh, balancing. So I was recommended that I put in the latest firmware and make sure I calibrate it. So I thought I'd share my experience of calibrating calibrating the unit. So what I would suggest and what I did was I, I measured the voltage across the power supply, I measured voltage across the XT60 of the battery and each individual cell which was just putting the points of the multimeter, sorry, the, yeah. there we go, oh you can't really see it that well there can you, let's try it over here, is it going to work? So it's basically just across there, and then move along each cell to get the voltage of, of each individual cell and write those down. So you write, write, write everything down so you've got record of it. So to get into calibration mode, hold the button down and apply the power supply. Okay, so that takes us into here. So the different settings we've got so the input voltage is this one here so you want to calibrate that to whatever that was what you recorded so you do that by clicking on it and i don't know if you can tell but it's actually highlighted that cell is still highlighted and you can scroll left or right which takes the voltage here up and down to match whatever this was uh, that you recorded with the multimeter and then that process is basically repeated as we apply a battery. So if I plug this in here, you'll see that this voltage here, this, this cell here is reading the, the total voltage through the XT60 or across the XT60. So then you can scroll down, click on it. Again, I can't tell if you can see or not, but that's highlighted. Then you scroll left or right, up or down to uh, match what you'd written down uh, on the paper what the voltage was across the XT60 and the same just goes then you continue through for each individual cell now remembering that you've got two outputs so you calibrate both sides I use the same battery so I could use the same figures uh, that I'd written down on the page so once you've once you've gone through that process I went through and saved and then exited so up here is the voltage of the power supply so that then should be matching and then once i plugged in the balance port the balance lead so all the individual cell voltages appeared so what i did is i added them up to make sure that they matched the total and that should be good to go.